Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given that for the particular coding scheme, there are five valid code words. So here for the given code words, we have been asked to find the minimum Hamming distance and we have been also asked to find the number of errors this code can correct. So to find that, first of all, let us find the Hamming distance between these all given codes. So as you know, the Hamming distance is the number of bit positions at which the two codes differ. So in this case, if we compare the two codes, then there are 10 different possibilities. So first of all, let us compare this first code with the remaining four codes. So here, if we compare the first code with the second code, then these two codes differ at the three bit positions. That means between them, the Hamming distance is equal to three. Similarly, between this first and the third code word, the Hamming distance is equal to 3 because these two codewords also differ at the 3 bit positions. Likewise, between this first and the fourth codeword, the Hamming distance is equal to 3 because these two codewords also differ at the 3 bit positions, that is, at this second, third, and the last position. That means for these two codewords also, the Hamming distance is equal to 3. Likewise, if we compare the first code with the last code, then between them, the Hamming distance is equal to 4 because these two code words differ at the 4 bit positions. Likewise, now let us compare this second code word with the remaining three codes. So, when we compare this second code with this third code, then between them, the Hamming distance is equal to 4 because these two codes differ at the 4 bit positions. That means between them, the Hamming distance is equal to 4. Likewise, when we compare this second code with the fourth code, then between them, the Hamming distance is equal to 2 because these two code words differ at the 2 bit positions. Likewise, when we compare this second code with the last code, then these two codes differ only at the 1 bit position. That means between them, the Hamming distance is equal to 1. And this will be the minimum Hamming distance between the given codes. Because if the Hamming distance is 0, in that case, both the code words are equal. That means the Hamming distance between the two codes cannot go beyond the 1. That means there is no need to compare the remaining codes. And from this we can say that for the given code words, this minimum Hamming distance or this D minimum is equal to 1. Now with the help of this minimum Hamming distance, we can find how many errors this code can correct. So if you have followed my recent video on the main channel, then we have seen that for the d bit of error correction, the minimum Hamming distance for the given code should be equal to 2d plus 1. That means if we want to correct a 1 bit of error in the given encoding scheme, then in that case, this required minimum Hamming distance is equal to 3. But in this case, since this d minimum is equal to 1, so this code cannot correct any error. That means for the given code, this d is equal to 0. So from this we can say that for the given set of code words, the minimum Hamming distance is equal to 1 and this code cannot correct any error. That means the number of errors which is being corrected by the given code is equal to 0. And hence, for the given question, this d is the correct answer.